I bought some of these, um, sorry, foreigners playing in the background, but I'll probably get a copyright infringement soon. But what the heck. These are the um, Espressive ESP WR00M32 boards. And I had a devil of a job trying to get them to work under an Arduino application programmer. And anything I did or tried just wouldn't work. So after, maybe I should turn off uh, far enough. Alexei, stop! There we go. Um, so I couldn't figure out why these damn things wouldn't program. It kept giving me all sorts of error messages, um, primarily to do with um, Python scripts. And after much research, thank you Google, um, I found a site that said when you're programming these things, and I don't know if I can actually zoom in that close, probably not. There you are, look, there's a little boot program switch here. Maybe you can hear it click. Which is actually connected to, over here, the first pin, which I feel sure you can't read, but it's actually enable, or EN, I guess that's what it means, enable. So, as I say, I searched around and I found a site, and I can't remember the name of the site, but before I post this video I will find the site name, because it was very, very useful. And they suggested putting a 10 microfarad capacitor between the N8, let me get something to point with. Let me get my handy dandy little tweezers. Between the enable pin and, I don't know, ground is here I think. But you know, that's an awful long spread to put a little cap in. Well, as it turns out, this little sub-module, the Wi-Fi um, Bluetooth module, pin 1 well, I'm assuming it's pin 1, is actually top left here. So actually the capacitor has to go between the enable pin and the ground pin. So, first effort. I put one in there, soldered it in, laid it down, and then realised the damn thing was lying right across the um, aerial or antenna for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I don't know if that would really affect me that much because I'm going to be using Bluetooth. So, number three, which I just did now, again, this time I put it down the edge not over the antennas and it was a bit wibbly wobbly you know so after soldering a couple of little drops of super glue down there and hold for 30 seconds and there we have all three done well i mean not this one of course this was this was as is, this was first attempt, this is second attempt. Now I know this one works because I've programmed it with the Blink program. I haven't checked this one out yet, but I'd see no reason why not. So the third one will obviously be adding the cap to this guy, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, good stuff. Bye.